Okay, we're going to go over how to add or map a new stop for somebody that you need to find on the route schedule using the web mapping. Let's say we've got a new customer, this Alfonso's Pizza here. I've created them today. And we want to map them for a new stop to figure out where to stick them on our route schedule. The first thing you need to do is make sure this customer shows up on the web. To do that, we would go to Sync Mobile Devices. From the drop down, select Customer and then hit sync. Once that's done, you're going to go to your route schedule and hit the map button. When you hit this, you will see a little query run along the bottom here. It'll be a green status bar that fills up. Eventually, it's going to open up a web page. And on that web page, you'll be able to sign in. This is what your web page will look like. Just go ahead and sign right in. From here, we need to make sure that our system has geocoded that customer. We need a GPS location. To do that, we're going to go to Settings, Web Options, and then we're going to click on Geocoding. And right here is a list of all customers that do not have a longitude and latitude. You'll notice it also shows you the addresses, city, state, all that good stuff. Um, obviously, the customers that don't have any information, such as Test 1, Test 2, Test 3, the system will not be able to geocode. Additionally, this is a fake address. The system will not be able to get us a GPS location. This is my customer, the new one, Alfonso's, that I need to get into the uh, to our route schedule. So first thing we're going to do is hit the geocode entire customer list. When this is done, it's going to say it's complete. If we go back here and refresh the page, and then go back into geocoding, you will notice that we no longer have that one customer. And apparently the system thinks it found a GPS location for a fake address that I found for another customer. Either way, Alf Alfonso's is ready to be added to the route schedule. We just need to figure out how to get them there. So we can go to mapping, route mapping. Actually, no, we're going to go to map a new stop. So when we need to find somewhere to put them on the schedule, you go to map a new stop. Then you select the customer from the drop down and hit get distance. The system is going to look at every route that we have on the route schedule. My route schedule only has four currently. And it's going to give you a distance from Alfonso's Pizza to each location. It's going to tell you how far away it is. This is a great way for you to figure out where to stick them on the route schedule. All you have to do from here is click either the before or after button. If we click before, it's going to put Alfonso's in front of this stop here. If we click after, it's going to do Alfonso's after this one and that continues on for the rest of this. So basically, I'm just going to pick a spot here. When you hit that, you get a pop-up to let you know it's been added to the route schedule. From here, it is on the route schedule, but you have to pull it into the desktop. To do that, if we click the Sync Mobile Device button. From the drop-down, we select Routes and hit Sync. As soon as this is complete, you can open up your route schedule. If it's already open, hit the Reset button. If it's not open, Go ahead and open your route schedule, and it will pop up right in here, exactly where you told it to put it. That's all it takes to map a new stop and pull it into the system.